Well, hey guys, glad you're here. Glad you're stopping by. Because see right here, something crazy is going on. You guys might have been paying attention to the gaming industry, maybe even the tech industry, but you may have heard this. There's been a lot of acquisitions going on throughout gaming industry, especially the big one, the big mother of all acquisitions. That is the Activision Blizzard and Xbox acquisition. Now, Microsoft's been dealing with this for well over a year. This has been a big thing. They've been fighting with the FTC as well as the CMA, as well as some other uh, things that are in their way. Everybody wanted to sue Microsoft. They're like, hey, you can't do that because reasons and sony's like oh you can't do that because exclusives then putting out exclusives well yeah so they just finished the actual deal this is actually a really big thing right now uh, this probably makes uh, microsoft one of the biggest publishers on the planet now which it was already pretty big but this kind of solidifies it so you're going to have things like call of duty world of warcraft warcraft starcraft diablo overwatch Tony Hawk, Guitar Hero, Candy Crush. I can keep on going on and on and on because there's a lot of IP that comes with this. Now, a lot of people are like, oh, this is going to be bad for the industry when Activision and Blizzard already had a shaky relationship with their employees with like all the bad shit they was doing to them. Uh, harassment, sexual harassment. You guys heard about the Cosby Room? Uh, that was a thing, apparently. I think that was in Blizzard. Was that in Blizzard? Maybe I'm wrong. But... There's a lot. Now, one thing Microsoft is pretty well known for is how they treat their devs and how they treat their employees. And for the most part, Microsoft treats them pretty damn well for the most part. I think they do pretty well with um, most of their companies. Uh, you don't really hear a lot of people calling out for harassment or anything like that. And they're pretty diverse, so they kind of fit, fill up all those check marks. If you like diversity, if you like... Uh, employees being treated well. This is the kind of thing you want to look at. Um, there's a lot of opinions on it, uh, a lot of negative. Uh, a lot of people did not want this to happen because they don't want a gaming publisher like Microsoft to become too big. In my opinion, I think is a good thing, honestly. Um, I don't see, I don't know why there was such a fuss about it, but uh, a lot of people say it's going to be a monopoly, which I don't think it's going to be in a monopoly. Um, Microsoft's already signed all these contracts with Nintendo, Sony, Ubisoft, and throughout the game industry of uh, allowing Activision Blizzard games on their platforms. Now, will there be uh, console exclusives? Oh, most definitely. Most definitely. Um, you know, one thing Microsoft is trying to do is trying to make it where Game Pass is very prominent. Uh, rather, it be on TVs, cloud streaming services, uh, their own consoles and PCs. Uh, game Pass is a really big deal. And in my opinion, I think that's the future of gaming. Uh, I don't think it's going to be the cloud services, honestly. I don't think the infrastructure is good enough for cloud because the cloud is not very reliable. And especially in my area, uh, our internet kind of sucks. Uh, I hate to say it, it just kind of does. Um, but I don't think the cloud thing is... Uh, really going to take off the way they want because we already seen some failures like Google Stadia. Um, uh, some some people like it. Uh, I don't care for it. I've tried cloud stuff. It's just not reliable. It's just um, especially if you have a shaky connection. But uh, I think the big thing is these services like Game Pass, where you have all these games. They have a low price of like twenty twenty five dollars a month, which you get all these games. Now you're going to have all these Activision catalog games coming alongside with Bethesda. I mean, we're already able to play Starfield on Game Pass Day 1, Halo, then hopefully Call of Duty, Diablo, uh, whatever. I think it's I think it's a good thing. I think it's a really good thing uh, for the industry because it just gets more games out there. And I think that Microsoft will turn Activision Blizzard around. That's my opinion. Some people don't think that. Some people think that... Microsoft is just trying to buy the entire industry, which there was this thing where they said they wanted to buy Nintendo, which I don't, I'm not buying it. I don't want that to happen. Okay. I don't, I don't want nobody. Nintendo needs the Nintendo. Uh, I, I don't, I don't want people to buy Nintendo. Nintendo's awesome. I think if people try to control Nintendo, it's, um, it's gonna be bad because Nintendo is very much a quality company when it comes to their IPs. 
you can say what you want about Pokemon and stuff like that, which the Pokemon games have been kind of um, buggy and messy, but they still sell pretty well. And they're still pretty good games, but, um, you know, Pokemon is its own thing, really. Uh, Nintendo uh, is over, I think, I don't know if Nintendo's over Pokemon. I think they are. There's something weird about the Pokemon, like, Pokemon Company and Nintendo. Like, it's this, does Nintendo own Pokemon? Or is that like a subsidiary? I'm going to I'm gonna have to investigate on that because I'm not 100% sure. But anyways, Pokemon's mainly on, it's, well, for the most part, only on uh, Nintendo systems. Unless you count mobile, like iPad or, well, Android and iOS where you can get some Pokemon games. Um, but I think, I think primarily Pokemon is just a Nintendo thing. Um, so I don't, I, I don't want Microsoft to own Nintendo. I think we should, should still have the big three, Sony, uh, Nintendo and Microsoft. I, I don't think, um, I don't think there should be one less because competition, when it goes away, there's no reason for innovation. And, you know, then you will have things with pricing going out of control because one company is in charge of all of that. And there's no real competition for that so they can do whatever the what the fuck they want um you know despite what you know the first party stuff that's been coming out from microsoft um it hasn't been that great i mean i think halo infinite was really good when it came out uh it had some problems out of the gate when it came to the multiplayer um but it was still a good game um it was it felt like halo to me uh the story wasn't as grandiose as i would want but it was still a good game uh starfield came out and it's fucking amazing like i think that's good um so i mean microsoft's going to be pushing out the games hopefully in the next couple of years and uh definitely want to see what they do with these licenses that they have um they don't have any intentions of taking call of duty off the other platforms uh, i think that would be a stupid thing to do because how many people play call of duty if you just put it on one console i think that's really going to hurt uh, so I don't see Call of Duty leaving. There might be uh, exclusive Call of Duty content for Microsoft Xbox, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I don't know how they're going to go buy it. Um, I'm assuming if they're going to spend nearly seventy some million, I mean billion dollars on a company, they're going to want some kind of exclusives to show off for it. So I don't think they're going to be like, oh. <laughs> Well, you know, we don't think exclusives. No, no reason to buy the Xbox. Just continue playing PlayStation and whatever. Don't buy the Xbox. You can play it on every platform. I'm sure they're going to want some exclusives. I'm, I'm, not, I'm hoping, I'm hoping this kind of brings some old IPs back, like Guitar Hero. Uh, bring back the Transformers, like the Cybertron series, Tony Hawk, uh, Singularity. Anybody remember Singularity? Bring back Singularity, please, God. Do it now um activision doesn't they didn't own i think c who was sierra under that wasn't an activision brand i don't think it was uh i was gonna say bring back the fear and condemn series but i don't think i think that was sierra i could be wrong i don't know i could be wrong but anyways what do you guys think you guys think it's a big good thing uh i hope so I hope you guys are excited about this like I am. I think it's nothing but good for uh, gaming. I don't think it's a bad thing. But other than that, guys, I love you very much. I'll see you soon.